The St. Lucia Sports Academy has been presented with e-books as the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations continues to roll out its ICT in Education program. More from Lisa Joseph. The electronic learning device, the LearnBook, is part of a three-year pilot project across secondary schools that focuses on broadening information technology in the classroom. The initiative stems from the ratification of the ICT in Education policy, which sets the framework for e-education initiatives being undertaken by the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations. In February this year, students from 13 secondary schools received devices, and now the Senusha Sports Academy is welcoming its batch of learn books as the program broadens. The learn book contains content that is aligned with the CSEC syllabus. It allows for interactive, engaging learning by bringing concepts to life with the help of videos, diagrams, activities, quizzes, virtual labs, and real-time simulations. It is accessible both on and offline. Michelle Charles is the Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation, and Gender Relations. When we rolled out this initiative earlier this year, we provided students with only six subjects on the device. But I can proudly say that our devices this time have 17 subject areas. We are covering the sciences, the languages, the social sciences, and the business subjects, and some technical subjects as well. So I think all of the subjects being offered to you, the students at the Sports Academy, is all of the subjects are incorporated on the device. With the Learn Book, teachers can issue notifications, track each student's progress, and provide individual attention in real time. Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert is the Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development. Development unit, along with the IT unit, for bringing to full fruition that ambition of ours, that vision of ours, not only to equip you with the hardware, but to ensure that it is fully loaded with the curriculum that you are following here at the Sports Academy, and that your teachers too would have received the requisite training to allow for you and the teacher to leverage the technology contained within the e-books. Earlier this year, as the ministry rolled out the pilot phase, the consultant on the project spoke of the benefits of the learn book. One of the top benefits here is the interactivity aspect of it. So if a user is reading a physical textbook, as opposed to a physical textbook, here the user can not only interact with the elements, but all the, all the keywords, for example, complex words that are tough to pronounce have pronunciations. Uh, there are some scientific words that are, that are tough to uh, remember the definitions for. They're all clickable. They have the definitions for those words. Uh, there's cool facts within the book, so they're strategically placed which means a user can actually break down the user reading monotony. So sometimes when it's a, it's a dry topic, a user is reading, uh, there's a cool fact towards the end that can break reading monotony. For the teachers, the benefits here are end of, end of section quizzes. So towards the end of every section, there's ready-made questions, quizzes, that the teacher can ask the students to take towards the end of the section to kind of evaluate what's the pro user progression at the end of each section. And towards the end of the chapter, there's an end of chapter test, which is password protected, where the teacher can give out the password right before she wants to take a class test. Principal of the Sports Academy, Delia Alcindor Charles, says teachers and students are looking forward to transitioning to the e-book. We know that we live in a tech work environment and uh, taking our students to the next level IT skills, digital literacy skills are extremely important. The LearnBook project replaces the One Laptop Per Child program, which ended in 2017. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reports in.